Now, this whole Gian Gomeshi case is a joke. Now, Gian Gomeshi, he was a, a big host of the on the Canadian broadcasting, what's it called? CBC, on CBC. Um, so he, he was well known in English speaking Canada. And in 2014, I think late 2014, he was accused of sexual, uh, sexual harassment, sexual assault by several women. And so he got fired from his job. He was condemned by the public and so on. Because <laughs> he, so he, he was looked on as a rapist. Now he was charged with sexual assault. Three, three women came forward with allegations. Actually, a lot of women came forward with allegations that he had beat them up and so on on dates. He he went allegedly he went on dates with these women. Then he punched them, choked them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you had these three women who, whose uh, allegations went to trial, and now this trial is going on, but. As the trial goes on, these women's allegations are just falling apart in court. They're just getting, <laughs> these witnesses or these alleged victims are just being destroyed in court by Gomeshi's lawyer. Because, what, so what, what the issue is that a lot of these women, now appear, apparently Gian Gomeshi himself seems to say that he's into into what do you call it, BDSM or whatever just apparently he says he's into beat, hitting women or whatever or well I don't think he said that he said he's into adventurous sex or something like that but basically he's beating women I get why well, I assume that's what it that's what he means and so but in the trial these women testified and apparently their stories are all false they've been lying a lot so these women say Gian uh, or Gian Gomeshi beat them but then after the alleged beatings uh, Gomeshi's lawyer has produced these emails and these letters these women after they allegedly got beaten they've been they sent him all these letters and emails love letters and um, suggestive photos of themselves in bikinis and stuff and one of the alleged victims wrote to Gomeshi after she got allegedly was assaulted she wrote stuff saying that you kicked my ass last night or whatever and I want to uh, uh, and saying that she wants to have sex with him and all this stuff after he so basically it seems like based on the emails that were produced in court it seems like she got she was she was turned on by getting she got beaten by him and then she was turned on by it so these women are a joke seems that they were they enjoy if, if he if he was hitting them seems like they were enjoying it or they either consented to it or they were enjoying it or they were turned on by it and then it was only later on that they were upset with him I don't know. I mean, maybe he, maybe he he wasn't interested in them anymore. Maybe he had moved on to other women or something. I'm not sure. For some reason, all these women were later on. They were very angry at him. But I mean, this whole this whole trial is a joke. These defendant, these um witnesses or these alleged victims are a joke. And basically, what they they're kind of demonstrating that old um, adage that assholes was a nice guys finish le or women like assholes or whatever if if Gomeshi's an asshole and he's beating all these women these women were loving it and they were coming back for more and you see some people who are <laughs> apologists for these so-called victims or these alleged alleged victims some some people say oh you don't know how victims react Victims react in strange ways. These women were running after him, sending him flowers after he allegedly beat them. Sending him flowers, love letters, having sex with them, sent, telling him, writing letters saying they want to have sex, how much they want to, how much they want to fuck him. And so this, this is, these people are a joke. 
I personally, I've seen a lot of men fight with other men. I've never heard of, I've seen men get beat up by other men. You know, I've been, I've been assaulted by other men. I've been, you know, hit by other men and so on. I've punched other men, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. I've been in physical uh, altercations with other men, other men, and I've never received, I've never punched a man in the face and then received a love letter afterwards. I've never gotten, I never punched a man or whatever, you know, whatever. And, and the man sent me, sent me and received a, suggestive photo of him in his in a speedo afterwards it never happened to me i've never been assaulted i've never been hit by a man and then turned around and sent him a love letter because if i'm let me tell this is how it works if a man if, if if one man walks up to another man and hits him if a man hits another man what's what will happen is the man will defend it he'll fight back he'll run away he'll call the police he'll um he might go get a weapon, come back with a, a knife or come back with a gun or a baseball bat or whatever and come back and, and, and uh, retaliate. He may come back with a group of friends and retaliate. He may just try to avoid the person that beat him up, but you'll never see a man sending a love letter or you, you're not going to see a man. I never heard of it. I've never seen a man sending love letters to another man who beat him up. So I don't know about, I don't know if that's people talking about, oh, you don't know how victims react. That's nonsense. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of men get beat up by other men. I've seen a lot of that stuff. I've been attacked by other men too. I've been, I've been, uh, physically beat up, beat other men too as well. So, but, but, um, these women, obviously, they were into that. They were they were turned on by being assaulted, because despite all of this uh, feminist, whatever, pseudo intellectual stuff, you get because all this. There's a lot of this pseudo intellectual, feminist, whatever, politically correct stuff in Canada, especially in universities and stuff. You hear these, you hear them talking, all these women, they use a lot of buzzwords. They say all these, you know, patriarchy and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like they're, they're, the, they're just a bunch of words that they just keep using over and over again. But they don't really, when they're talking, the stuff that they say doesn't even make sense. Or it doesn't have a point. They're not, they don't make any point. They just talk and use a bunch of big buzzwords to make them sound intelligent. But they're not really saying anything. So it's just a pseudo intellectualism where they say they talk a lot of stuff and it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have any relation to reality or to their actual behavior. But at the end of it, at the end of the day, you look at all these women, these pseudo intellectual, all these feministic women that are spo or feminist women that are supposed to be, you know, so intellectual and all this stuff. What do they do? They run to the, a man that beats them. There you go. It's just the same. Just like um, women, you know, you could have un these uneducated women, uneducated poor women who like who like thugs, street thugs. These these educated women, with all their big their feminist buzzwords, they they they're the same. They're the same way as as um, uneducated women that like the thugs. It's just that these the educated women, educated pseudo intellectual feminist feminist women just use a lot of buzzwords and you know a lot of big talk. But then when you check it out, you look at their behaviors; they're pretty much doing the same thing. They're pretty much running after the same type of men as the um, the ghetto poor uneducated ghetto ghetto women do. So all this this uh, feminist whatever. You know, patriarchy and all the you know buzzword using stuff at the end of the day what do they want they they they're running after a man that beats them so that's all I have to say this whole Gian Gomeshi trial thing just expose what they're really about it, it exposed them <laughs>